Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave. Wow, that is filthy. Um, I am here in my cave with a really fun quickie. Um, I troll, I don't troll, but I, I search Etsy all the time for different kinds of things. I'm always curious about what's out there and occasionally I search animal masks because, well, there are all sorts of different animal masks and uh, I certainly, Curious about what people are making, and I came across this site recently, uh, Fantasy, P-H-A-N-T-A-S-Y, and we'll include a link to the Etsy store in the comments. Um, they make these paper craft animal masks that are die cut. You snap them out of the paper and glue them together. And I'm about to do that. Um, yeah. Um, that's, that is today's one day build. I'm gonna build an animal mask out of die cut paper from an Etsy seller that I found recently. There you go. Sometimes I give these long preambles, sometimes, well, they're very short. Um, this one, this one is a, um, <laughs> well, it's a rhino wearing a top hat. It's just the one that appealed to me the most for doing this. They're, they have this werewolf that I think is really beautiful. A little close to the um, to the bear mask I made recently. So let's see what we got here. We've got uh, yeah, got a yellow yellow band. Okay. Let's see here. I'm gonna do this out of hot glue. Um, I think there are probably more permanent glues, but in the interest of actually getting this build done, that's how I'm gonna do this. Okay, so that's just a top hat, I believe, is what that is. Um, and here are, uh -huh. oh, wow. Oh, this is, wow, that's kind of amazing. It's all one sheet, holy. Oh, wow, oh. <laughs> that is kind of incredible. Yeah, there we go. These are all the parts. So I think I'm just gonna start popping them out. Yeah, this is great. I This is just really, I love the idea of this all being out of one giant sheet of paper. That's kind of exciting to me. Yeah, so each of these pieces is held in by some tiny little tabs. I will figure out which pieces these are in a minute. They're all different, so it's, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out who is who. Um, yeah, if I was going to be much more careful about this, like if I was building this on the clock, I'd probably use an X-Acto blade to undo all these little Snappy snaps just for, you know, that added bit of perfection, but I am feeling unattached to that right now. Done. This also means that their manufacturing costs are way down. They're not trying to collate and, yeah, I mean, it's just very smart from a, from every standpoint to do it like this. Um, let's see the other side. Ah, yeah, see, there we go. <laughs> I'm starting to understand some of the shapes going on here. Oh, I think that's part of his pipe. And I think this is too, pipe. What do you mean pipe? Well, this rhinoceros that I'm gonna be building the mask of, uh, he's smoking a pipe and he's wearing a hat. I know, not very realistic, but you know. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Wow, okay, I guess there. <laughs> ah, sure, sure. Um, all right. See if I can figure this out. 17, 16, 
16 and 17 are bilaterally symmetrical. I think that it is reasonable to conclude. Are they really bilaterally symmetrical? Yes, they are. Okay, I think it's reasonable to conclude that that is 16 and that is 17. They don't really give directions so much. Ah, don't remove the parts at this time. Label them all first. <laughs> <laughs> I was impatient. Sorry. Copy the numbers onto the drawings. Carefully remove the parts. Side without numbers facing up. Fold on dotted lines. The folding direction is shown at right. Yeah. Okay. I did this totally wrong. But let's see if I can get a construction out of it. One. Okay, so this is three. I didn't read the directions, Carl. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, 14. I see now. 14 is this one. Ah, I see. This is, um, <laughs> this kit teaches some good skills, honestly. Uh, yeah, and that is that, right? And that's definitely a glue scene. Let's do it. Great. Let's do the second one. Hey, we have our first glue scene. Okay, so that is 13. It still moves a bit, which is good. That clearly goes there and there. Good, okay, cool. So do that one. You know, a Duco cement would be also great for this. Um, I'm just into the speed of the hot glue right now, that's all. It's all about instant gratification. Okay, so those are clearly two little ears, which probably show up somewhere else. Um, so, what is that big thing there? Is that 16 and 16 and, there we go. So 16 is that one. So we do that scene. Yeah, great. We'll do that scene, then that scene, then that scene, then that scene, then that scene. Now, the other one. Great. Awesome. There we go. Not so bad. Not so bad. Okay. We're moving along. That's good. Now 10 is also bilaterally symmetrical, isn't it? 10 and 11. Yes. So what do those look like? Is that them and them? Yes. Oh, this is a tricky little, tricky little thing going on here. This is the eyes and they are um, a complex little mechanism, which is really nice. 
but it's just going to be a bit of a thing. All right, so let me see if I can get this one going first. That's the first one. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to redo this on the other side and proceed at pace because this is a complicated little part and I don't want to mess it up. Again, you don't have to, I just want to make it clear, you don't really have to know every, the whole thing. I'm just proceeding with each step I can see is the next step to take. And that is carrying me along. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So then, that, and that. Oh, right. Okay. So now, right. Okay, so now we want to do the other side of the eye. Oh, that is a little tiny doohickey, isn't it? All right, let's get these going. Nice. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful engineering. As the thing starts to cohere, you start to feel the intent of the designer. And it's always a lovely thing to feel like you're on the right track, as it were. Ah, two, okay, two, two. Is this funky Col Medina? Yes, okay, so this is two. Oh, I see. Two comes around here and does that. And then, oh, yes, 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 that's where, it, ha, ha, ha. okay, cool, there we go. High stakes placement, man, with hot glue, you only get one real, one real chance there. We start here. I think we do. glue in there that's why there we go okay okay so we're doing okay here now the question is that was yeah, oh no yep yep this is nice and clever they have um they have uh, done three of the tabs on the piece itself and one tab on there, so you know where you stand, which is actually kind of great. Um, however, I want to do that there. And I'm just going to give this a shot. Let's we'll see if I can make this work. Get that down there, all that down there. Yep. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Okay, the little horn actually creates some structure to it that holds this in orientation. I like that. Good. This one is a tough one. 
not gonna lie. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so that is that. All right, I'm just gonna trust I can figure this out. That is weird. It's hard to picture. Okay. If I had to build this on the job, I'll tell you I'd build two, right? I'd build one like this, and then I would use my knowledge to make the second one really nice. Okay, so, oh, those are nostrils is what those are. Wow. Okay. Let's get this guy. This is definitely not a beginner kit, but it's not a super advanced kit. It's like a nicely placed somewhere in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a tough one though. This one last, this one little seam, but I'm gonna try it here. Oh, I've got a little dirt on my rhino. Good, to be honest. Okay, so. Oh, okay. That is a refined bit of paper engineering there, that pipe, I gotta say. It's, uh, wow. Right, let's try these two first. Nailed it. Nice. Okay. We're almost there. We're barreling down upon it. That. Yeah. And that to that. Nice seam. Very happy with that. Let's see if we can get the same quality over here. Test. Yeah, good. Okay, now, where does number five go? Where's five? Is it that? Oh, it's that. Look at that. There we go. That's what that is. Time for his top hat. The uh, hat has a natural fold in it, which I don't love. Uh, so I'm going to get that fold out of it just by uh, uh, 
just by crossing over that seam with a bit of scrap, and then that should provide me a nice curve. So I'm just gonna, otherwise I'd be like working really hard to get that little step out of there. But now I do that, I do this, yeah, look at that, I get a nice round one. All right, I might have to do that on the other side as well, but let's see. <laughs> this is tricky. Let's see here. Maybe what I can do is a little bit of this. We're going to just give this a shot in the gluing department. I'm just going to go a bead all the way around here. And I'm really gonna hope for the best. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Is beautiful. I am super, super, super pleased. Yeah, there we go. That, that is an excellent project. It is an excellent execution. I'm really happy with my pipes, with my pipe smoking rhino. Well, thank you guys for joining me for this one day build. This is the pipe smoking rhino signing off. And I will see you next time. Oh, I'm a little low in the frame. Ah, the rhino was high in the frame. There we go. All right, bye guys. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. If you'd like to further support us here at Tested, one of the single best ways you can do it is through a Tested membership. Now there's a link below as to the various levels of Tested membership, but at the top level I want to explain, it's so much more than videos that are exclusive. There are Q and A's, there are live streams, there are some exclusive videos, but. The thing I love most about the Tested membership is the interactivity, the constant and wonderful communication between the Tested members and not just me, but our entire team. Every day, it feels more and more like a beautiful community just devoted to the joys of making. So join up and become one of us, one of us, one of us.